see here. What do we got today? Feature direction of PvP battle and matchmaking stability notice. Okay. Um, we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused due to circumstances such as interruption and forced termination PvP battles. We are aware of the inconvenience and frustration of our summoners are going through, and we are doing our best to take measures on this matter as our top priority. In this regard, we are truly sorry that it took a while to post this notice as many discussions have been made in the direction of this matter. We will start explaining from the part that's being confirmed. Yeah, what's up, Firebloom? This shitter is the guy that's gonna probably not climb any today. I'll do normal matches. <laughs> Be a little patient, because I, I need to get my I need to get some units up to level nine, I think, if I want to keep really pushing properly. I I could probably push for like you know thirty four hundred, and then I'm definitely gonna stagnate because like those like that's just where you run into the whales and stuff for sure. Like definitely, I already run you know I already run into them right now, and like just those stats are too much. <laughs> For my poor level 8s. <laughs> um, for the case of forcibly ending the game while entering a battle after matchmaking, a penalty will be applied to deduct the victory points of the forcibly ending side. The part that shows each other's deck during the loading time was not to, uh, oh, was not available in the beta test. It was added for the global launch to allow you to spend a little more meaningful time planning a strategy in advance during loading. However, there was a situation that adversely affected your battle experience due to the lack of handling an exceptional case where the opponent purposely ends the battle after checking your deck info. It's really, it's really annoying that it goes like, opponent end. <laughs> we apologize for not being able to predict and consider such cases more carefully. Uh, we'll consider such cases more carefully. The penalty to deduct victory points for forced termination while entering the battle will be applied as of the maintenance on May 5th. So there you go guys, 3400 is paywalled, is way paywalled. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I've done pretty well to climb up to 3300 and I may as well just sit here and do normal battles for now rather than just like up and down with the rank. Because like, even if I, even if I get like an extra 100 points, it's I'm just going to run into people that have like level 10s and stuff like that. And like at that point, it's like beating, you know, it's just going to be beating my head on the brick wall. So I need to just, you know, play the game and enjoy it. <laughs> we can play around with other stuff, like, you know, different team comps and stuff and just mess around, I figure. Um, we are f Number two, we are fully aware of the inconvenience that you feel due to the interruption during a battle lag issue. And the development team is currently working on this issue as the top priority. In order to solve the problem that may occur from processing matchmaking between users in various regions of the world, we're improving the configuration of the PvP battle server and the matchmaking method. And we are also making efforts in terms of client optimization. So maybe that'll stop the instant um, <laughs> the instant counters and the instant attacks, <laughs> which means I can't counter. Uh, our goal is to apply the first solution to this matter based on the maintenance on May 5th. That's to Day, or I guess tonight slash tomorrow. Uh, afterwards, wait, yeah. Afterwards, we will continue to monitor and optimize the content. If there are any deficiencies, we'll respond with the highest priority to resolve them. I do have a suggestion. Can we please, uh, can we fix the rating system a bit? If if people are expected to have an event to climb to 5k, most, most people are not going to hit 5k, like, ever, let alone during you know, a 20, like a 30 day event. If like we, we, like even at diamond, we lose the same amount of points as we gain. So we have to win repeatedly in a row, right? To keep climbing. <laughs> so like, I'm assuming that once you hit 4k, if you lose, you lose even more points than what you win. And then it's going to be, well, I guess once you hit 4k hitting 5k, like it's, it's going to be a lot rougher. You'll have to win like what, maybe three times in a row to climb. Uh, I'm just like, if people are supposed to hit the 5k each month, uh, I don't know, at least like this initial event, is this initial event only for whales? <laughs> I tried last night and I'm at like 90 stars out of 100 rewards and I got nowhere. Also due to the DC thing they talk about in the announcement, but still had, uh, hard pay gated. I had a feeling it'd be something like that. And you've got, um, you got some decent units too, don't you, Firebloom? Like, like, sorry, you've got like a level nine or something, don't you? I feel like we need at least level nine or ten DPS to um push. I feel like we could, if we have like a level seven or eight, well maybe like level eights, right? Maybe level eight tanks, but level seven supports, 
and then we have like our uh, like maybe like level nine or ten DPS. It could potentially carry us. Um, we will improve the matchmaking logic. Oh, we'll optimize matchmaking logic to smooth the matching process. Uh, we will improve the matchmaking logic to solve the difficulties and inconveniences that occur according to the ranked battle score section. We plan to apply such improvements via uh, version 1.1.0. I have no idea what version we're on right now. <laughs> uh, number four. Cases will be more clearly classified for forced termination during a battle and intentional forced termination will be treated as defeat. Very nice. In Lost Interia, even if you leave the game during a battle, you can uh, you can return to the battle and continue to play as long as you reconnect before the battle ends. Which, like, as soon as you disconnect, it's like, <laughs> you know, like, may, do they have, like, they don't have, like, a pause option. I'm assuming the game just keeps going because I get back in and, like, half my units are gone. Maybe it should be like, oh, what's up, Chair? I appreciate the look, man. Uh, maybe it's because, like... I don't know. I feel like they should pause it, give you like 30 seconds to 30, 60 seconds. You know what I mean? <laughs> why do? Why would I need a lurk command? Pause the game if it's DC? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? Uh, I got 1-9, it's Kali, it makes zero difference. Oof, Kali, dude, Kali crits so hard. <laughs> you see those 2600 crits on me? Ouch. But yeah, why, yeah, 1-9. I feel like you'd need like an AoE damage dealer or something. You, uh, useless to be able to reconnect if it yeah if it doesn't pause then it's there's no point. I remember in um uh uh uh, uh kind of tactics it gives you that it had that thirty seconds uh before the match uh counts as your victory, even though that was buggy and it wasn't working properly. But still, <laughs> uh, this is because we thought that if all of the cases such as temporary uh, network instability or the game client being dropped and then uploaded again. Uh, we're immediately counted as defeat. We would not have enough care for various situations that you may experience during a match. As of now, if one player leaves the game during a battle and does not return until the end of the battle, the opponent player who finishes the battle till the end wins. Uh, in this case, the battle results may be handled just like a match that uh, ended normally. But I mean, I don't know if AI takes over when I DC because I've had it. You know, I've been I've had the app close like what three, four, five times at least so far. I don't know if AI takes over. I'm assuming it doesn't. I'm assuming they just sit there and auto attack. <laughs> uh, a pop up stating the battle has ended abnormally may be displayed in several cases, such as synchroniza synchronization with the opponent. Wait, uh, such as when synchronization with the opponent is not performed properly. We will review all such cases and make sure that those cases that are judged to have been intentionally terminated to be counted uh, will be counted as defeat. Uh, we will do our best to apply these improvements as soon as possible and will inform you with the exact schedule once the development review is completed. Also, we will correct and improve other confirmed errors as soon as possible along with the interruption of matchmaking issues that occur during a battle. Once again, we sincerely apologize, apologize for any inconvenience and we have prepared the following compensation as an apology. Ooh, 1,000 gems. Is that, are those the gems we got last night or something? I hope so. But yeah. Uh, it does not. Yeah, your game just keeps going. That's what I figured. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm glad they're working on that, but I feel like uh, this event here, I think that they should, like, work on this. Uh, where am I? Here, right? Like, yeah, okay, we can hit 4k, going 30, you know, 30, 30 points for a win, 30 points for a loss. Awesome, right? Uh, we hit 4k, and then I'm assuming it's like 30 points for a win, and then 40 or 50 points for a loss or something. I don't know what it is right now. Um, I haven't watched uh, the battles in the, at the 4k right now by the whales. But, you know, climbing from 4k to 5k is going to be incredibly difficult when it's already hit or miss with 3k. And we've only got 22 days, 7 hours to get it done. I don't know if we're gonna like unless unless the whales climb quicker and then everyone else can keep climbing because right now they're like hard stopping everybody else because they're not climbing enough uh, <laughs> you know it's gonna be uh, I don't know if we'll get it done in 22 days but hopefully we will because once they hit 5k then just keep they can just keep going uh, anyways we'll have to see what they decide to do with all that and uh, yeah Ooh, 